Alright, so once you're done uh, doing whatever you're doing to the motherboard or replacing the motherboard, you want to go ahead and make sure that your CPU, your GPU, and the corresponding heatsink uh, pads are very clean and just use rubbing alcohol to get them clean. Uh, this piece right here is thermal pad. Uh, now, I'm going to leave this on here as long as it's making good contact and that's okay. Uh, if it looks like it's crumbling, you'll need to replace it. So go ahead and take your base and set it down here. And recall that we've got this little piece that also needs to be installed. Okay? So go ahead and get your motherboard in there. I'm not going to waste video time as I kind of uh, finagle it in, but uh, go ahead and install the, do the daughter board and the motherboard. Okay, so the easiest way to get this uh, motherboard in is to connect the daughter board to the motherboard before you put it in and then kind of um, shoe it in like this and then push it down. And then you can connect this daughter board just by pushing them together. Now don't push right down on it like this because this board will turn, okay? So you're going to need to keep one finger underneath it and one finger like this and connect it like that, okay? So connect this wire here and then replace the studs that we removed uh, when we removed the motherboard. Okay, so once you've got the base uh, with the speakers installed, the next thing you're going to need is the palm rest here. Um, so I've, I've gone ahead and I've repaired this. Uh, the palm rest just sits in here like this, but remember that you've got to connect one, two, and the third one under here. Uh, so the easiest way for you to install this one, you can kind of see if you can get it like that, but what I do is I actually turn this this way. Let's see if I can... So I actually turn this like this um, to get it installed. So make sure these are all the way out. And then just grab this, and then you can kind of rotate it as you go until it's in the correct position. Okay, just like that. Okay. And then you've just got these two other ones here. These ones are pretty easy. Okay. That's all you have to do there. Um, and just kind of make sure that this is all sitting in here evenly. Alright, so the next part that we're going to put in is going to be the LCD. The LCD is pretty easy. You just kind of put it down into the two holes like this. Okay, just make sure nothing's catching. Then you're going to get the two largest screws. down in here. Okay, and with these screws, I needed that one because it was a magnetic tip, but with these these screws, be very sure that you're using the correct size screwdriver um, just because these ones require more torque to get down. So if you got a tiny little screwdriver, you're going to strip it out and then you're not going to have a laptop. So. Okay, got these in here. Now what you want to do is go ahead and reroute these cables back to the way they were. Okay, so once you've got all these wires in, and don't forget to put this one back in, um, you can go ahead and grab these two little pieces. <coughs> these are the side pieces. Um, 
they just go in like this. Um, and you can either do these now, or you can wait until you get that black, that other black piece on. Okay, so now that you've got the palm rest on and the wires wired, uh, you can go ahead and put the keyboard back in. Um, the keyboard, and again, remember it's got this little deal. Um, what you want to do is lay the keyboard flat and wrap the connector around, seat it in there, and then just press it down. And then you can just kind of push this down. Grab two of these screws. Okay, so now that you've got everything wired, uh, there are a couple things you're going to want to do. You're going to want to put your last small screw up here. Okay, then you're going to actually want to take this piece. Uh, remember that this is your top piece here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take it and just wire it in. the connections down. Okay. And then you can take your keyboard. And the keyboard, remember, uh, just put it face down, fold this around. It should sit in there pretty easily. And then press the connector down. Okay. And then you take two of the medium screws. And just thread these in. Now you want to work this piece down. You can just kind of easily work it down. It's going to take some just gentle prying, so just work work it along the edges, and then you can put these pieces on. So go ahead and do that. Okay, if you're having some trouble with these pieces, um, what you want to do is you just want to take it like this. Put it all the way down so it's flush with the base, like that, and then slide it in, just like that. Okay? And it'll sit in there like that. Go ahead and close it. You can make sure that all these back tabs are secure. Flip it over, just like this and then sort out which ones of these are your uh, wireless and which ones are for these other connections um, and make sure that you put these three caps back on and hook up your wireless card. Okay, so once you've got everything wired up, uh, now we can go ahead and replace the screws in the base. job is a lot easier if you have 
at least one screwdriver that's magnetic.
All right, so I've got it uh, all put back together. Um, it's got some battery. Let's we'll see if we fixed the motherboard. And it looks like we did. So, there we go. Thanks for watching.